industry said, this thing wouldn't sell, it's too complex, nobody's going to know how to understand the value, how to describe the value. You know, you're not going to be able to make a product with that many ingredients in it, taste good. We didn't listen. <laughs> and without TV, it's the number one seller in the network. Over $500,000 a week is our chart in sales. Anybody who's been to business school, this is the kind of chart that you look for year over year. This is week over week. That's growth. And now we've got some news. Because this product is that good and it deserves that kind of attention. We've heard your request. We want more flavors. You want some things shot. Michael. That was your cue, Michael. For the last nine months, Darren and Isabel have been working. Okay. But now. I'll say something you won't hear from any other network marketing stage at the big convention. It's not ready. In fact, no, it might never be ready. We had it. Sorry, Michael. It's actually possibly the big news of the summit because I think it says a lot about who we are as a company. We had we, we were tasting it, it tasted incredible. I mean, it was vanilla like you dream about. It's like an ice cream cone of vanilla-ness. <laughs> and, oh, there it was, I was supposed to show you that. Um, what happened was, Darren, who helped formulate this with Isabel, started talking to the manufacturers about, well, how do you achieve this natural vanilla taste? Just what is it, what's the formulation of that? And he found out a dirty industry secret. That the FDA and every natural company out there is allowing GMO ingredients, they're allowing propylene glycol and silicon dioxide. Now, you might be wondering, what's so bad about those? They're just names. Well, they actually, some of those things, uh, propylene, propylene glycol is actually an antifreeze. They use it in photographic chemicals. And that's not what we're about. That's not what we want this product to be about. Now look, okay. And that is worth applauding because most companies out there, to appease people who say, I want vanilla, I want that next thing, would have gone, would have proceeded with the great tasting vanilla thing we had. But let me tell you something. We are not going to be slaves to the tongue with this product. That's McDonald's job. Yeah. We're getting the body healthy. We're a health company. Shakeology stays pure. Now imagine, imagine if somebody handed you an onion and said, hey, make that chocolate. And you're like, okay. You can't just dip it in chocolate. It's going to taste like onion chocolate. But we have 70 potent herbal ingredients in this thing, which are, they, and that has a potent taste. It's, if you ever had a little shot of wheatgrass, taste that foul thing, try to make that taste chocolatey, it's tough. Well, vanilla is a very subtle flavor. It's very mild, which is one of the reasons that everybody wants it, because you can add stuff to it and make it, it's very flexible but it just doesn't work to mask the flavors. One of the promises that we also have with Shakeology is that it will taste good. We just can't achieve it without bombarding it with chemicals. That's why all these other companies use non, what, what they call natural vanilla to achieve vanilla. Just putting vanilla beans doesn't cover the, uh, the other ingredients in most of these flavors. So it's actually the one thing you remember from the summit. Whenever you give your kids some healthy bar or something you think is healthy vanilla, right now in this industry, there is no such thing. Everybody else is rounding that corner. We refuse to.